Number 878,034, Embrace Acrasia. Now, this comes from an article that I wrote a while back, and I'm always putting this in my newsletter because it's, it's one of my favorite articles. Not following through on what you set out to do. My, in my peeling the trading psychology onion, I discovered there's a name for straying from the, from the longer term, shorter term. These short term urges, which take away from our longer term goals, are known as acrasia. And again, dieting kind of comes into it. It's like, well, I'm just going to eat this bag of chips today and I'll start my diet tomorrow. It's like you have these longer term goals in mind, but you kind of sabotage yourself much, much shorter term. And I think all these these little million things, these million little things, all kind of dovetails into that and kind of wakes you up to where you're losing sight of your longer term goals by not taking care of what you need to do shorter term. But anyway, that's called acrasia. And I've written quite a bit on this and I've done complete presentations, but acrasia is a state of mind which someone acts against their better judgment through the weakness of will. And a lot of procrastination could be explained as acrasia. Now, James Clear, he wrote a pretty good book. It's a really good book. And it's even better if I would actually follow it. It's probably better than I'm saying I need to reread it. And if I actually did what he said, it would probably be fantastic. A crazy state of acting against your better judgment, it is when you do one thing, even though you know you should do something else. Well, Livermore once said, a trader makes mistakes and knows he is making them. I received an email from somebody years ago that said, I feel like Paul, the apostle Paul, I know not to do these things, but I do them anyway. And it's just, you. sometimes you, you know you're doing the wrong thing, but you do it anyway. So recognize that you might be doing that little thing and, and doing the wrong thing shorter term adds up longer term. And you're like, for some reason, you reason and there's a time inconsistency. And I've, I've gotten to I've gotten a little deeper to this in the past. I probably need to reread Mr. Clear's book. You kind of like, oh, I'm just going to do it this time. And, and tomorrow I'm going to be disciplined and I'm going to honor my stops. I'm not going to take mediocre setups and only take FTO setups, et cetera. A crazy is what prevents you from following through on what you set out to do. Now, this was part of a much bigger presentation I did a while back, and I was looking at some of those slides earlier. And again, there's the, the time inconsistency is, is a very important thing. One point I wanted to get to is that discipline gets used up. The, the gym, again, makes a great example. I'm going to go to the gym after I work today. Well, by the time you get done with work, especially if the shit hit the fan or God knows what happened, you're like, you know what? I'm too tired to go to the gym. I'll go to the gym tomorrow after work. So you fully intended on going to the gym, but that discipline got used up throughout the day. Again, it's confession time. There's been days where there's nothing to do in the market. It just chops around all day, all day, all day, all day, all day. And I'm doing my other work, staying busy, being a good little trend following moron. There's nothing to do over there. Just so work on something over here. And then toward the end of the day, I just can't stand it. I feel like not can't stand it. Like I have to take this trade. Can't stand it. I'm taking a trade out of boredom or for recreation or uh, it's S and G. It's no big deal. I'll sweep it under the rug if it doesn't work. And that's that discipline getting used up. And all this dovetails in with acrasia. Set my alarm wrong for Fed meeting the other day so I could get out of the day trades before the meeting notes came out. It cost myself, except for central time, hour late. Yeah, Jeff, and, and that's and that's okay. I'm glad you mentioned that. So let's say you're putting on an intraday trade and the Fed announcement is coming out later in the day. You probably need to close down that trade before that Fed announcement because that market's gonna get jerked around like crazy. So he set an alarm, but the million little thing he could have done maybe was announce that alarm out loud, okay? So it was set for central time instead of Eastern or whatever the case may be. So if he'd have, and I don't know how the, his alarm works, but he, he could have said, I, Jeff, have just set an alarm to remind me to get out of my positions before the Fed meeting for, 12 o'clock central time is like, oh, 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 hang on, hang on, wait a minute. It needs to be one o'clock central time or whatever the case may be. Hey, if you're liking this video and you're watching it on YouTube, live on YouTube, then like this video. If you don't like it, go have no fun somewhere else. Subscribe too if you're watching the recording on YouTube. Please subscribe too.